All right, my friends, how about we get into some what sold? First item that sold is this Nerf Zombie Strike Sledgehammer. Nope, that's not it. Sledge Fire. And it has one of the cartridges here. And uh, it's funny because I just found one at the bins today, but this sold. I was going to relist this with two cartridges, but it sold before I was able to do that. So that's cool. This sold for $19.99 plus shipping on eBay. It's been at my booth for months months i listed it on ebay yesterday and it sold today for 19.99 for shipping now the only headache about that happy that it sold the only headache is that now i gotta find a box for this thing which i was just at my storage unit and i should have looked because they have always leave boxes there people always leave boxes there. they have an area where you could like leave a box take a box so i usually find my odd boxes there I should have looked for a box for this. I mean, I'm sure I can make it work somehow. Actually, you know what? Two 1095s or 1097s will work. Yeah, that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do for that. And then we got this Manatee plush heading out right here. It's a big guy. He's about 24 inches Cascade, 1993 vintage plush. Uh, sold for $30 plus shipping so that's awesome we got a mug going out little uh rainbow dash mug here this one sold for eight dollars no yeah eight dollars plus shipping i've had this for a while so i'm glad to see my mugs starting to move we got a little raccoon here he's a cool little one uh he has no tag so i don't know what brand he is but he's a nice one. He's uh, pretty cool looking. He sold for $8 plus shipping. And he's light. And the happy birthday bear that we just found. Um, or I just picked. Where did I pick it? Did I get this from Denton Thrift? Probably. Uh, I got it for like 3 bucks, I think. At Denton Thrift. I want to say that's where I got it from. This was this probably a, one or two videos ago. Uh, th picked this up for. No. This sold for $16.99 plus shipping. And we got a little Simba going out, a little vintage Simba right here. Uh, this guy, so I've had him for a while. This sold for, he's vintage. Uh, did I say that? Doesn't have a tag though. But he sold for $9.99 plus shipping. And then we got a viewer sale, another viewer sale. Uh, fizzy lifti lifting drink, who you'll find in our comments. Uh, very often wanted this little um, Davy Jones figure. It's a cool figure. Very, very cool figure. And it has some action there. And uh, they made me an offer, so I accepted. So Fizzy Lifting Drink, thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for leaving comments. And thanks for the support. We appreciate you. And that's it. That's what's sold. All right, today is a Dallas Bins kind of day. Uh, I'm flying solo today because Monique wanted to stay home to wash and price more of her stuff because we're trying to get that other booth ready for her uh, so we're gonna do it's probably gonna be just a power hour and uh, see if we can find some good stuff let's get inside need a bag got a bag ready to fill it up with some junk this glass that's why I wear gloves yeah I put this on top somewhere
All right, let me show you what I picked up at the bins in Dallas. We're gonna start right off with these Coca-Cola glasses right here. I don't know if they're vintage. I know I don't know when they're from. I thought they were cool. Uh, the green, actually, now that I look at them up close, eh, they're not in the greatest condition. I was just surprised they weren't broken, but maybe we'll, we'll put that in the booth for a couple shekels, see if we get anything for those. Plush, a little Millennium Falcon. Gotta throw that in the washer. Little uh, Skele Skeletor, Jack Skellington. Squishmallow. And that's all of the plush. Got a little Nerf uh, single shooter here. Never seen that one, so I picked it up. Got some Nerf uh, clips or magazines, whatever you want to call them. I'm, I got a whole bunch. I'm about to lot them up and put them on eBay. And then I got one of these here, which goes to the uh, Slim Fire that you saw earlier. I was going to lot it with that one when I found this one. But a few minutes after I found this one, that one, the one uh, you saw earlier sold. So I can still sell this individually. These are... These are always sought after because people need them. Let's see if we get you a better look here. There you go. And it has three darts in it, so that's cool. Got two uh, of these big, uh, what are they, 11 inch, 12 inch figures here. Got a Wolverine. I don't know why I didn't. Venom and Spider Man, some Miles Morales action. This Venom's tore up kind of tempted in repainting him you know what I mean It'll probably be cool doing a little repaint I mean he's all black or dark blue and and white so I don't know we'll think about it we'll see found him at the bins and those are cool so I was like yeah why not we'll get him oh, uh Paw Patrol nope not Paw Patrol uh PJ Masks do anything it was doing something earlier PJ Mask uh VTEC watch here there it goes. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what it does. Little um, Loki. What are these? Funko Dorbs. Got that. Got a nice little lot of uh, Bakugan. I actually have a lot going already. So I might just throw these in there. And then finally list that on eBay. I, I don't know if these go for anything or not. But I find them often, so I always pick them up, especially if they're in pretty good condition. I figure we get something from them. Got a little beetle for the little diecast Volkswagen collection that I all of a sudden started like two days ago. This little cool dude right here, I don't know what he is, but he is cool. So we're going to put that on the um, little wooden display I have over there a little Superman Duplo action no cape and then I saw these and I thought these were cool I don't know what they go to though so no idea but it's this Hulk right here and he's like jumping through the air see that he's about to smash on some Hulk smash I don't know what they go to though I don't know if they're supposed to be hanging maybe or something because there's also this um Captain America right here too that looks like he's up in there also do they have stands or something I don't know if you guys are familiar with these let me know I do like me some Hulk so I'll probably keep that one he's really cool I also found me some of these calico critters here I've usually done pretty well with these these are all different critters though but I'll still lot them up together and sell them off that way this one even has his little hat so that's pretty cool and the first thing I found there was this board game, The Lion and the White Witch. It's like a, a game for The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. And it is from 1983. Uh, felt heavy enough, so I picked it up. I don't know yet if it's complete or not. But here's the board game. And then it has some cards in here. It has some other pieces, but I don't know. If it's not complete, we could always part it out. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't think it goes for much anyways. But I figured I'll pick it up anyways. Try it out. <laughs> and then I found this little uh, pencil box here. It says Ashley on it. 
<laughs> has these stickers on it. I thought I picked it up because it was open when I saw it and it had all these cool pencils in here. It has this uh, applause Bugs Bunny. Um, does that have a year on it? 1997 applause Bugs Bunny pencil that's still new, hasn't been used. It says, What's up, Doc? On that so that's pretty cool saw that and they're all new not even the erasers are used uh the erasers are a little bit dirty but that's fine and this uh lisa frank i don't know if it's gonna focus on that well, lisa frank pencil um these don't have a year on it but yeah because monique loves stationery so i was like oh that's gonna be a fun thing for monique to go through it's just a lot of um a lot of pencils with just all kinds of like designs on them this one has dinosaurs on it, this one has dogs on it, one has cats on them, one has fish on them. And they're all new, all unused. There's another Bugs Bunny one. Some more Lisa Frank action right there. And pencils are fun. Here go two more uh, Lisa Frank pencils right here. Another Lisa Frank and a uh, unused Hello Kitty pencil. Ho oh, ho, look at that. Brand new uh, InSync pencil. Check that out. Ooh, I love these. The ones with the multi colors on them. But yeah, just all kinds of fun pencils in there. All right, we're done at the bins. Um, I, we did exactly an hour, which is what I want to do, power hour. We got here at 9.15, it's 10.15 right now. Um, I got here at a perfect time because when I got here probably about 15 minutes later, they switched out all the media row, they switched out another row of stuff, and then they switched out all those small bins at the same time. So it was funny because people were like, People were confused, like they were panicking because they didn't know where to go. They would move this way, like oh, I'm gonna go see, oh, I'm gonna go over here. Like you can see it in their face that they were panicking because they were gonna miss something. It, it's, I mean, it's crazy. It was pretty crazy. Um, what I filmed was before they took out all that stuff, so I was kind of like, eh, there's nothing here. But I guess it was all the picked over stuff from yesterday. Because um, people were just hanging out, but then they started removing all the small bins and then as they were doing that people were lining up to to hit to rush the small bins they started bringing out the book the book bins and then they started bringing out another row of bins and people were like it, it was just it was funny because i was like i'm gonna wait for the small bins because i always find better stuff in the small bins because the bigger bins they just put giant stuff in there there's just giant things in there and uh and not a big fan of that so i just waited for the small bins uh so people were like quick because as soon as they let the small bins go first people were there and just freaking out just stuff was flying all over the place i wish i had my camera on and then they would run over to the other side to the books to look through the books you know it was crazy there's a good the goodwill is right here the one that's attached to the bins and i know somebody's gonna ask me where's the dallas bins westmoreland that's Westmoreland Street. What was that? Sundance. The other day, some lady picked up a uh, sealed Rick and Morty Dungeons and Dragons book. I was like, oh, I missed out on that.
So as you saw, we stopped at the Goodwill. Uh, I picked up three things. I'll show you what they are. Uh, the first one I got is um, this little bird right here. And it's from Disney. I'm not sure where or what movie or what show it's from. If you guys know, let me know in the comments. This little bird. bird. <laughs> so, I don't know what I was going to say. But she looked cool enough to pick up. And the plush there are only 99 cents. So I said, why not? And I got this tub of Lego here for $12.21. And the only re normally I wouldn't pick up the Lego, but I saw that this one had a whole bunch of head pieces, like the little minifigure heads. So I'm hoping that inside there's a bunch of little bodies, little minifigure bodies that go to those heads. I haven't gone through it yet. There's like some helmets and some stuff, so, so I'm hoping that in between here there's all kinds of uh, minifigure bodies and I'll separate out the minifigures, list those on eBay, and then possibly just put this other stuff uh, at the booth and uh, make my money that way. But yeah, I just, I, I don't like dealing with, with uh, Lego too much, uh, just the minifigures. So yeah, $12.21 for that. And then the last thing I found was, boom, this penny board right here. Penny Australia. Uh, cool little colorful um, skateboard here. Penny board. Has the penny uh, trucks on it. Has some wear, but it's not too bad. It's still good. And uh, the tires look pretty good. And it was only $5.95. And I've sold penny board, a penny board before at my booth uh, pretty quick. So I'm sure I could... Um, I'll be able to flip this no problemo. I thought it was cool. I thought it was too cool to leave behind. That's the problem I have. So I find out find out things that are too cool to leave behind, even though I shouldn't be getting them. But you know, I still pick them up. But, yeah. So that was a cool one. Check it out. And that's it, guys. That's what we picked up today. Thank you for watching. Thanks for joining me at the bins today. Uh, picked up some fun stuff. Not too much stuff, which is usually the way it goes when I go to uh, Dallas. I don't ever find too many things there. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed the video, hit us with a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. If you enjoy the channel and want to stick around and see more content, go ahead, subscribe. And um, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll see you here on the next video. Bye.